Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings. It's Prophet Yaqim. And God just put this word on my spirit for the body of Christ today to do not give place to the devil. Do not give place to the devil. And I'm going to start off with Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 27. Neither give place to the devil. Amen. You cannot give place to the devil because we are going through heavy spiritual warfare in the body of Christ right now. You, know, you see it, a lot of people going through it, they tired, they tired, they tired. But hey, y'all put on that armor of God and fight with the word of God. Fight by being in the spirit, by always sanctifying, purifying your body, purifying your mind. Amen. So you may be able to battle and fight against the wiles of the devil. Amen. And that leads me to... 2 Corinthians 2 and 11 and it says lest Satan should get the advantage over us for we are not ignorant of his devices amen so you don't want Satan to get the advantage over you amen because when Satan to get the advantage over you that's why now you are in doubt you are in fear you're going back to old habits old sins that God has delivered you from. And you let the devil trick you. That's what wiles mean. You let the devil trick you out of position. You let the devil infiltrate your mind. Because you didn't have that four armor on. You didn't have that helmet of salvation covering you. That's why it says too in Ephesians 6 and 11. Put on the whole armor of God. That you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The trickery. Of the devil, the subtility of the devil, just like he beguiled Eve in the garden, amen. Because he was tricky, he enticed her with his words, amen. So you gotta be aware of the words you are even speaking to yourself, what the people around you are speaking to you. you no, know, somebody tell you, oh, it's all right, you can go out, you no know, one night, amen. You go out one night, you can get a few drinks. You no, know, it's not going to do no harm to you. And you know you got a problem once you get to drinking that it can lead to other sins as well. Now you, you fornicated. Now you smoking, you know. Amen. God forbid. But that's how it works. You know what I'm saying? You open up one door for sin. Hey, seven more coming with it. Seven more coming with it. And God's just telling the body of Christ to take... He to the instructions of the Lord. He's really telling you to do something. Do it swiftly. Do it swiftly. You know, doing it swiftly can save you from pain, heartache, strife, anger, bitterness. You know? We all have to be better service of the Lord. So take heed to the instructions if he's telling you to do something right now. This is your confirmation to do it now. Do it swiftly. Save you from the pain. Amen. Because a lot of us put us put ourselves through extra. God don't want us to just be in pain and suffering. You know, of course, we got to go through suffering to elevate spiritually. But then there's come a time where you can get to like, like a PTSD and you can start putting more on yourself that God didn't want to put on you. That you gotta know when to just pray to God for confirmation. If God said he gave you rest, then rest. If God telling you to fast, then fast. If God wants you to get to, if he wants you to read more of your word, then read more of your word. Just take heed of the instructions that God has given to you in this season for the spiritual warfare is increased. But I mean, God is just more in the presence of it. He is with you through it all. Be confident in God. Be confident in yourself because it goes hand in hand, faith by faith. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in God. Continue to do the things that God instructs you to do. Now, I pray this word blessed you. I pray you got edified from this video. Always know that God loves you. I love you. And Jesus Christ loves you so much more.
Always like, comment, and subscribe. Be filled with the Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' mighty name, God bless you.